Hello everyone. Um, in today's session, we will see little more about the utility package in the Informatica MDM. So inside the utility, we know we have the batch group. Then we have batch viewer, process server, audit manager, ship manager, and the user object repository. So user object repository is uh, more relevant for the custom things. So like if you have any custom procedure, if you have implemented any custom button or you have implemented user exit, you can use this section to deploy in the Informatica MDM hub. The second thing is safe manager. So what is the safe manager? The safe manager gives you two functionalities. First, to generate the ORS specific API. And the second, it generates the schema and the JMS related properties in the JMS event schema manager. The SIP API manager, what it does, it actually generate or specific schema. So in order to see that how it generates, select this and make sure you have the right log and just do the refresh object status. So it will give the all the objects in the repository, it's like the base object, package, clean function, mapping, etc. Then click on this checkbox, it will select the, all the objects or you can deselect the object. Once you select the object, the generate and deploy over a specific SIP API, this button will get enabled. So that means you have selected all the objects here, you can see, you can see there and just click on that generate. So what will do, it will generate or a specific API and you can use those API directly. So if you know, when you install the JDK, they JDK, uh, when you install the resource kit, the SDK for the Informatica will be generated and it will look like this. So it will have the Cyprian API and the Cyprian common jars where the actual API, SIP API will be residing. So now, so if you see, so once you click that uh, generate and deploy this or a specific API, uh, you will get the pop up, it is successfully generated. Now it will just uh, do the sync up of the join objects. And here are the things you will get the WSTL or then you will get the when this API got generated. And that's a version. You can remove this uh, specific uh, or a specific API as well. Like for example, if you make some changes and um, you don't want to use that or a specific API, just you can remove. You can download or if you make any changes, you can refresh and again regenerate. So let's download it. What we'll do, we will download on the desktop and here you go so if you see so this is the name of the api so you can give any name you can change the name and the all the specific or specific api will reside here so you can use the or specific api or you can use the generic api like here separate api and separate common these are the generic api now next regarding the JMS EMA event. So for example, in the configuration section of the Informatica MDM, we have the message queue where we can configure the JMS factory, JMS message queues, etc. So in order to use that JMS connections and the properties, you need to have the schema property. How can I get the schema property? In order to get schema property, you have to go to the utilities, SIP manager, select this JMS event schema manager and just select the generate and deploy or a specific schema it will generate a schema for us you can use this schema this is a simple xsd file which will uh, tell us what how what kind of format we need to give for the particular jms message and what will the format or uh, what is the format that is expected or expected at the queue so you can download the XSD. So again, I am the desktop I will be using, and this is the file. So you can go and open this file. You can see what are the changes, what uh, what is the XSD. So it's a UTF add means it cover all the uh, characters, and this is the format, and you can see. 
so you have to be specific in this uh, you have to mess send the message in this format only if you build the message in the informatica mdm you don't have to bother about this but if you are using externally you have to make sure you are doing all those things in this specific format only okay so we have generated the xlt and we have generated the cpp specific schema the next we have the audit manager so how many sources you have like the for example we have admin crm cells and you want to monitor cif apis uh, functionality for each source you can monitor so this is the cif api request like the gate or we have the tokenize unmerge put etc or clean put all those will be applicable for the all three systems so this can be monitored or you can just check this uh, or you can just enable this it will get monitored for you even you can monitor the messaging queue as well so once you configure the message queue those will be visible here you have to just monitor you have to just enable that for the monitoring process server we have seen in the recent um, uh, videos it is it is the earlier version we call as a clean server so it is all the clean functions cleans cleansing process happens through this clean pro server or we now call it the process server in the batch viewer we have the different different batches like this stage load match manual match and so many in the batch group we can create the batch groups i hope uh, this is pretty much clear how to generate the cpps schemas and the jms specific schemas if you have any questions on that you can mention in the video below Thank you, thank you for watching the video.